In this episode, we'll touch base a little bit on how to use Power Query to import tables from your PDF. In this example, we'll use the file we just converted to HTML to import a data table. If you're new to Power Query, it is basically a data link technology. This feature is available in your Excel and Power BI uh, desktop. It will basically help you connect with various sources and you know, like refine your data sources to meet your need. Okay, let's give it a quick uh, demonstration. I'm going to go back to our Excel, add a new sheet um, from your data tab in your ribbon, go to get data. We'll launch our Power Query editor. From new source, we'll just select the web. Okay, now we'll just get the, the HTML file we converted earlier from PDF. We'll copy the link and paste it here. And click on OK. It's very simple to use. So here is basically our metadata document. And then here's the table that we want to import. Just select that and click on OK. Let's give it a moment. Once you're here, if you want certain data format or data type to be changed, you can do so from Advanced Editor. So once you click here, you'll basically see like um, this is like a SQL statement that is auto-generated. Here is the fields and the data type. UID is integer and then the date is in date type. Let's say we want the date format to be in text and not um, date. You can just replace that. Okay, so once you're done, you're happy, just click on done. As you can see, the format has changed a little bit. And simply click close and load. It will now re refers the data from from that table. If you want a code, basically you can just record this as well. If I have to just redo this um, in a new workbook, or I'll just delete this for now. Um, extend connection. I'll just delete this. I think it's easier to you know record this import from HTML. Click on OK. We'll just this is the name of the macro. We'll store this in this workbook. Um, we'll just do the exactly the same thing that we just did right now. Launch to the editor. Add our source. Clipboard is then cleared. So I'll just recopy the file path. Coming back to our editor. Click on OK. This can be the actual web page and not, you know, like not the local converted ones only. But for now, we're just using this as a, as a demonstration purpose. Select the table again, click OK. Maybe we'll just go back here and edit this as well again. Date to text. And done load we'll have a look at the code that was recorded in the active workbook it's basically adding a query this is a same statement um, that we saw from the advanced editor these are the properties these are the list object the source type it's using the OLAP DB and then this must be the provider with the and then uh, destination where it's being added. The command is basically select from this table and so on. You can easily record this instead of you know having to type this complex uh, syntax. And if you have to dynamically construct this, feel free to play around. And if you have any specific questions around this, feel free to comment on the video below.